Hello all, myself Janil. Let us discuss soil classification. This is video part 2. In previous video, we have understood basic terms of soil classification like different classes of soil, why to classify the soil, etc. In this video, we are going to understand different soil classification systems and group index, etc. Let us move further. So, soil classification systems are divided in four parts. Among them, first part that is particle size classification, textural classification, unified soil classification, IS classification. These all are different classification systems. <coughs> particle size classification system, let us see that. So, in particle size classification, according to particle sizes or sizes of grains, they are divided. Basically, there are four systems which are popular ones. US and PRA classification, international classification, MIT classification and IES classification. IES classification that is Indian standard classification according to particle sizes. So, which is more important to us? because it is according to Indian standards. Let us understand it in depth. Here you can see a chart. This chart is going through particle sizes from 0.02 mm to 300 mm and more. So this will show us what are the different classes of particles according to their sizes. So if the soil size, soil particle size is less than 0.02 mm then the soil will be told as clay if it is in range of 0.02 to 0.75 mm then it will be a silt same way from 0.075 to 4.75 it will be a sand but in that also IS has given fine medium and coarse sand classifications so if it is in size 0.075 2.425 mm it will be a fine sand if it is in the range of 0.425 to 2 mm it will be a medium sand and if it is in the range of 2 to 4.75 mm it will be a coarse sand furthermore if it is having size more than 4.75 up to 80 mm there will be gravels among them Gravels are also fine and coarse. So, from 4.75 to 20 mm, they are fine gravels. And from 20 mm to 80 mm, they are coarse gravels. If the size of the particles are greater than 80 mm, up to 300 mm, it will be a cobble. Or we can say cobbles. And if the size is greater than 300 mm, they will be boulders. So, these are uh, IS classification system. According to that, we have to check the particle sizes. If they are more than 50% in the similar size and they are in this range, we can define which are the types. Let us move to next classification system, which is textural classification. So, according to textural classification, uh, an equilateral triangle is prepared and all the sides are equal. Now you can see here by watching this we can say that it, it, if it is a sand, silt or clay. Let us check that. Here from 0 it starts from 0 to 10 to 100. Here again from 0 the range for silt will start 0 to 100 and from here again clay range will start from 0 to 100. Here, sand is ranging from 2 mm to 0 0.05 mm. Silt is ranging from 0 0.05 mm to 0 0.005 mm. And clay is ranging which is lesser than 0 0.005 mm. Now, how to check the types? Here, this triangle is divided into some different different parts. Here, we can uh, see that it is a clay. It is a sandy clay, sandy clay loam, loamy sand, sand, sandy loam, loam, 
सिल्टी क्ले लोम सिल्टी लोम सिल्टी सिल्टी क्ले क्ले लोम एटसेट्रा नाउ हाउ टू डिसाइड व्हिच इज दिस टाइप फॉर दैट वी हैव टू प्लॉट द लाइंस फॉर एन एग्जांपल इफ दिस टाइप ऑफ सोइल एक्स वाई जेड एनी टाइप ऑफ सोइल व्हिच यू हैव टेकन इनटू ऑब्जर्वेशन इज हैविंग 30 परसेंटेज ऑफ सैंड 30 परसेंट ऑफ सैंड सो आई नो दिस 30 इज रिटन हियर एंड सैंड इज रिटन हियर now i want to draw a line which is parallel to the line of clay or opposite line so i will draw from 30 a line which is almost parallel to the clay line or this axis now i knew sand same way if i know silt if silt is 20% again i will draw a line but i will draw a line parallel to the opposite line which is a sand line so i have drawn a line and if the clay amount is 50% then i will draw a line which is parallel to this bottom line or silt line from all of three they will match at one point they will intersect at one point and that point will show us the exact type according to textural classification here we can see that it is a type of clay it is a clay soil if the intersection would come here clay loam it would be a clay loam and that is how we can understand that let us move further unified soil classification so unified soil classification generally gives prefix and suffix from that you can classify a soil type let us see this here you can see a table soil type and prefix are written here subgroup and suffix are written so first you will decide a prefix and then you will decide suffix for that you should know the type if it is a gravel let us say according to particle size analysis if it is a gravel then you have to put a prefix g if it is poorly graded gravel then you have to put suffix p so it will be a gp that is gravel but poorly graded same way uh, let us uh, understand prefixes for gravel it is capital g sand it is capital s silt it is m clay is c organic soil it is o and peat pt same way subgroups are divided according to if it is a well graded it is w poorly graded it is p silty it is m clay it is c low plasticity l medium or intermediate plasticity i high plasticity h so let me ask you a one question if it is a clay but well graded clay then it will be a c w if it is a silt and it is poorly graded then it will be a mp silt which is poorly graded for an example it is sand and it is having high plasticity then it will be sh i hope you are clear with unified soil classification with prefixes and suffixes let us move to next classification system which is indian standard classification indian standard classification is classification is divided into three types CGS FGS and organic soil this is divided in three types CGS is having eight groups FGS is having nine groups and organic soil is having single group in this peat and humus are inserted in CGS for CGS you can see a table here this table is showing different groups for coarse grained soils let us see this if it is a coarse grained soil then it is divided into subdivisions eight subdivisions in that if 50% more than 50% of particles by weight are greater than 4.75 mm then they are divided into four groups and if they are less than 4.75 more than 50 percentage of particle sizes are less than 4.75 then they are divided into again four groups 
Now, furthermore, if fines are lesser than 5 percentage, then two groups are divided, GW and GP. Let us understand that GW means well graded gravel and GP that is poorly graded gravel. Now, when it is GW and when it is GP? First of all, we know that if it is uh, having more than 4.75 mm size and amount of that that is more than 50 percent then we have to tell that it is a gravel. Now if the amount of fines is less than 5 percentage then we have two options GW and GP. After that you have to see the CU and CC value. CU is greater than 4 and CC is in range of 1 to 3. Then you have to tell that it is GW and if it is not meeting these CU CC requirements then it will be a GP, which is poorly graded. Furthermore, if the amount of fines is greater than 12 percentage, then you have to see two options again, that is GM and GC, because it will be a silt, silty gravel, basically. Now, you have to check IP value. If IP is less than 4 percentage, then it will be a GM. If it is greater than 7 percentage, it is GC. And in between those, you have to tell that it is GMGC, combination of both. So this is how you can define CGS and in that gravels. After that, if we see sand in that, which is having size lesser than 4.75, you can see four groups and if the fines are less than 5%, two groups are divided, SW and SP. Now, SW is same way well graded sand and SP is poorly graded sand. Now, you have to again check CU and CC value. CU value is greater than 6 and CC is 1 to 3. Then, you have to tell that it is SW. If the requirements are not matched, then you have to tell that it is SP. Furthermore, if the fines in this sand is greater than 12 percent, you have to see another two options which are SM and SC. SM that is silty sand and SC that is clay sand. In that you have to check IP value again. IP is plasticity index. If IP is less than 4 percentage, it will be a SM. If it is greater than 7 percentage, it will be SC. And in between those, it will be SMSC. So this is how you can divide CGS according to Indian standard classification. Previously we have understood particle size classification in that according to IS code we have seen that but it is Indian standard classification for CGS furthermore we will learn for FGS let us move forward for fine grained soil for fine grained soils there is a graph it is also known as IPA line graph in this it graph it shows is plasticity index versus liquid limit graph. Here the graph is dividing soils into 9 types and this line is having equation that is IP is equal to 0.73 in bracket WL minus 20. So if you want to know plasticity index then you need to know liquid limit WL of anything. Let us see this. Here if liquid limit value is greater than 60 percentage this vertical line greater than 60 percentage then it may be CH or MH CH or MH so CH clay with high plasticity MH is clay a uh, silt with high plasticity so now how to decide now you can decide it with a line equation if you have liquid limit value and if you are putting an IPA line equation and the value for that soil type of plasticity index is coming more than IPA line. So the value of that will be above IPA line. For that we can say that it is CH. If it is the value is standing beside or uh, under the IPA line equation it will be OH or MH. Moving forward, OH there is organic soil with high plasticity, MH is silt with high plasticity. So three types are divided here. Furthermore, if it is in range of liquid limit is in range of 40 to 60 percentage, it will be in between here. 
and the value of PI plasticity index is coming above IPA line it will be CI cleavage intermediate plasticity and if it is below that then it will be OI or MI OI that is organic soil with intermediate plasticity MI that is silt with intermediate plasticity if the liquid limit value is lesser than 35 percentage and PI value is coming uh, above the line then it will be a CL CL with CL means clay with low plasticity if it is below that then it will be ML ML is silt with low plasticity and if it is in between 4 to 7 percentage PI then it will be CL ML clay and silt combination with low plasticity so that's it for this lecture we will understand numericals as well as some theories in next videos thank you